Israel launched airstrikes against targets near the Syrian capital of Damascus overnight. This according to the Syrian State News Service, which indicated that two people were injured. In line with its policy of not commenting on air raids in foreign countries, the army has yet to comment. Israelis living in the north reported seeing missiles or planes heading towards Syria. Syria says that IAF jets launched missiles at Syria while flying over the Sea of Galilee. Syria claims that it shot down several Israeli missiles, although Israeli military analysts rejected the claim. Syria admits that the airstrikes caused considerable damage. While Israel does not comment on specific strikes, the Air Force has admitted to conducting hundreds of sorties against Iranian-backed groups in Syria, as well as weapons convoys en route from Syria to Lebanon. Airstrikes also routinely strike Syrian air defenses. Acknowledging concern in the diaspora about the incoming government, President Isaac Herzog issued a pointed Hanukkah greeting to world Jewry. Herzog said that he welcomes earnest voices and tough questions being asked of the presumed Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's coalition and his government in formation. The President urged the Jewish world to judge the new government by its actions, reminding the viewers that we are one family and one people. Herzog also reiterated that Israel means a great deal to all of us and it's important to remain unified, even when there are differences of opinion. The menorah has eight lights, said Herzog, and room for all of us. And in Washington, U.S. President Joe Biden hosted the menorah lighting ceremony in the White House and used the opportunity to express alarm about the growing anti-Semitism in the U.S. and around the globe. The leader of the free world vowed to fight back against the scourge. The vile and venom is becoming too normal, said Biden, vowing that he and America will not be silent.